Um, I think um, we have enough data now to shoot it down in flames, and we should deal with it as quickly as possible. But if for some reason the data we have is ambiguous, then I would be in favor of postponing it. The head table believes it would require a motion to reconsider the outcome of this vote today to uh, vote on it tomorrow. Mr. Dr. Adams. <laughs> Is this a speech against? No, it's in public. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Um, it's my understanding that the the. Pick the microphone up. Uh, Take it off. It's, it's, it's loose. Apologies. Yeah. Trying, trying to carry too many things. Um, uh, Dr. Andrew Adams. Um, it, it's my understanding that this would not be a motion to reconsider, since this would be at the main business meeting rather than the preliminary business meeting. My apologies, I may, I, I'm not as expert in, in Robert's Rules of Order, but because it's, a, it's the main meeting, not the preliminary business meeting, a, a, a motion to postpone definitely during the main meeting wouldn't be a motion to reconsider, but would be a, a, um, a separate motion. It, all of the sessions of the business meeting are, are one meeting under Robert's Rules. So if we vote today to do a specific thing to the agenda, and then we decide that was wrong, and we want to undo or do a different thing to the agenda which interacts with that, then we either have to uh, have a supermajority to uh, vote uh, to change something we've already done during this uh, set of business meeting sessions, or we need to have a motion to reconsider, which is not terribly hard. Anybody who voted on the uh, prevailing side can, can move to reconsider. Okay, uh, so just a quick follow-up on that. If there is a motion to reconsider, that still only requires a majority the only it only requires a majority to reconsider, yeah. And, and the, but the only caveat on that is that somebody who voted for the... Uh, for, for the item we wish to undo, somebody yeah, who must, must changed the person their mind who proposed this. on the prevailing side has to vote the motion. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm certainly clear on what the, what the, uh, the issues now are. I'm glad you are. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do we have We're left in favour? No. Right. Sorry, uh, brief question. When we get the data sets released, whether it's four or five of them, will we at least have numbers of nominations and votes for each, um, each title, each point in the data? I haven't seen the report. Yes. Okay. Yes. The Minimum Marathon 2 website on the WISFIS business meeting page. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And it's linked to the agenda right next to this and at the bottom as well. All right, seeing as how we have no debate time left, in favor of the motion, is there any left against? There is a little bit of debate time against the motion. Is there an objection to calling the question? All right, we're gonna call the question. We're gonna do this by a show of hands. Those in favor of postpone? You object? You wanna speak against? No. Are you speaking against the motion or against the motion to call the question? I'm speaking against the motion, the main motion. Yep. You have time. You recognize the motion and the second to call the question, so it's undebatable. I'm objecting to calling the question because I had remarks against the motion. Well, there was a second, didn't you? you could choose whether you recognize the motion or not. If you didn't recognize it, you still in order. If you recognize the motion to call the question, it's undebatable, and we need to go with that. On the calling the question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to vote on calling the question before you can give your speech against the. I I, I withdraw my. Withdraw my. I withdraw my. I give it's not a problem. <laughs> I think so. You said the time runs left for against. Right, but the motion to. I'm withdrawing my request to call the question. You can't do that at this point. I'm withdrawing my objection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are now objection. We are now going to move to a vote on the motion. So this is to to postpone the three items of business definitely until Sunday's bus main business meeting. The three are nominee diversity, e pluribus Hugo, and four and six. Are we, call, are we voting on calling the question or voting no. on the main motion? No. The, motion, the objection to calling the question was taken back. So we are voting on the main motion. All those in favor of postponing definitely, please raise your hands. 
All right, hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the ayes have it, and the three items of business are postponed until Sunday's business meeting. We do still have to set time on four and six, however. Yes. I have seen. Yes, Mr. Parker. Is it in order to reconsider how many indefinite time? I thought we. Uh, hold on, the hold on. Postponing nominee diversity into after EPA chose to do what he wants to do. Yeah. So, provided he voted to. Did you vote in favor of postponing it definitely? I did. Okay. <laughs> I think there has to be some progress in business. You can't just do something and immediately move to reconsider. What well, we, we did say. We did. We postponed definitely <coughs> the whole thing to Sunday. Hmm? We postponed. We set the debate time on the other items and we postponed the other pieces until Sunday. We postponed the diversity until Sunday. We definitely changed two elements. Well, if he passed this motion to postpone, I assume he wants to. He just wants to pull the diversity back out. Not all three. But he wants to change what we just did. We moved all of them to Sunday. If he wants to change that. No, he wants to change the uh, resolution to okay. postpone until after EPH. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we can still do it on Sunday, but not. Stay tuned. I believe it would still be on Sunday, but it would come up before EPH now. No, it'd come up and stop there. So no, because we moved all three to Sunday. Yeah, but so we're doing first and then four and six and then oh, we need some clarity from the maker of the motion, I think. What, what is the intention of the maker of the motion? The intent, the intent would be to um, unlink it from being postponed until after the others uh, and hopefully to move it back to uh, a previous day if, a, if the time is available. Yeah. For nom this is for nominee diversity. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get to my place. We're back at nominee diversity. So the motion is to take A4 out of the postponed definitely and move it back to after a debate on A3. Correct. Is there a second? Second. All right, Mr. Parker, would you like to? I so move. <laughs> Is there a speech against? Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lisa Paddle's speech against. Nominee diversity is linked to EPH because one of the things EPH is doing is considering slaves, whether intentionally or unintentionally. For example, people have been speaking against Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. EPH addresses this, as does diversity, and a lot of us would vote for EPH, and if it passes, against diversity, and if it doesn't pass, for diversity, so the order does matter. Is there a speech in favor of the motion? Mr. Buff. Warren Buff, I believe that we can safely move nominee diversity back because I don't think it really stands a reasonable chance of passage. <laughs> <laughs> That was a speech in favor. Is there another speech against the motion? Kevin, Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, I have a parliamentary inquiry that I would like to clarify that I, I want to make sure I understand what this motion on the floor is. I believe the motion on the floor is to reconsider the vote on placing nominee diversity relative to two other items on the agenda, so that voting in favor of reconsideration would bring back that motion to postpone to uh, get to be debated once again. Is that correct, Mr. Chairman? That is correct. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> 